All right, Fox how to step one, mapping and blocking. This is where I just lay down the basic shape of what I'm doing in white paint. Doesn't have to be super accurate, but as close as you can to the shape you want. Step two is mid-tone. I use mid-tone instead of highlights or shadows because I don't want to get too much detail. I just want the generalization of the shape and where the colors are going to go for the animal or whatever I'm painting. For this, I chose a mid-gray and a mid orange. Again, nothing too accurate, just kind of blocking it in. Generalized shapes. Next is shadows and dark tone. I do this to bring the real definition to where my angles are going to go and all the shadows. This isn't that accurate, but more accurate than just blocking in. I do this with all colors I'm using, so I also did it with the orange. This is where you also want to get majority of your shaping more in place. And then to fill it in, next I do more mids. I choose another shade of color to kind of tie it all together. You can see it blending in more, making everything come more alive. Again, doing it with the grays, blending in, getting more tones in there. And the more layers you do, the more it will look like blended in fur. Next is highlights. I go through and add highlight in each color that I'm using and this makes it more three-dimensional this is more of an accurate process you want to make sure that your highlights are going in the right places and then I'm going through with the white getting the fur texture around the sides and notice how I'm not really using brush strokes as much as I'm kind of dabbing it in smaller areas that will give it more of a texture that doesn't look too fake if you start doing larger strokes it's gonna make it really stand out and you want it to blend in with the other fur. I also do a lot of this process off camera because of the angle I have to paint around my phone camera. So this is just a generalization of how I do the process.
And then refining details. This is where I add in the extra detail of the nose, the eyes, shadows in the ears, all that kind of stuff. Defining features, if you will. And of course, they don't have to be like super accurate. You're going to blend it all together anyway. Or at least that's the process I have off camera when I'm can be up closer to it. And just adding more to the fur. Get the eye detail in there. And then I just layer over the top as much as I need to to get it blended in to look more like animal fur. Sign it. And then UV resin is the last step. Make sure you get it all covered. This also makes the paint more blended. And then once you get that all spread out, use a lighter to get all the bubbles out. Put it under your lamp and you're done. Thank you.